brought some money out, I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me, they throw their phone, they be like, fuck this. Smoking big granddaddy, little phone, them overstuff my blood and shit. Yeah, man. That innocent brother. Y'all already know what's going on, man. We in the building, man. As soon as y'all get in here, smash the like button, say what number y'all is. Drop location so we can shout out to where everybody from y'all. See the title, y'all. See the thumbnail. We talking about OTFDD, Lil Dirk, one of Lil Dirk best friends. God damn it, his homicide report has been released. You know, for the people who don't know, DD caught a body back in 2014. Allegedly caught a body. He ended up beating the, uh, beating the body in 2020. So boom, for them. Allegedly, his homicide report is out now. So they saying for them. God damn it. Everybody know Tay Town's on 59th. So they saying Fulham had an issue with somebody on 57th. They said, you know, allegedly they saying Fulham pulled right up over there, hopped out the car, nothing covering his face, walked right down on the person, got him up out of there, got in the car and drove off. You know, a, a whole bunch of people out there, witnesses there where he ain't had nothing covering his face, you know, and God damn it, you know, so everybody saw him type shit. So boom, he get booked for the body. In 2014, he finally get a bond in like 2018, and he finally went to trial in like 2022. And goddamn it, he's ass got acquitted. He got acquitted for the uh, body that they charged him with back in 2014. So it's like you know, this could be one of the reasons why Dirk keep him around, cause allegedly he gonna stand on business. You know what I'm saying? Like he already done went to trial for a body. Like all the people that's around Dirk done beat bodies. Zoo them beat bodies. Beat that body. Now the princess called me Rocky. Shout out them members. Them on my son for boom. Zoo them beat body. Vaughn beat body. Didi beat body. You know what I'm saying? God damn it. A lot of people around Dirk done beat bodies. So it's like. You know, that's why Dirk got this aura around him and shit like that. You know, but for the people, you know, he's known as um, Deesky, OTF Deesky. That's what he's known as now. But, you know, he's, you know, everybody really call him Didi, but his rap name is OTF Deesky. But the whole time, you know, before his ass became like known as one of little Dirk best friends or whatever, you know, or like before he was known as OTF Deesky to the world, you know, let me, I'm a dog y'all memory. The other shit that folk them end up getting a name for was, was some bad shit. Like, like when folk them end up getting out of jail in 2018, you know, his ass was, you know, he was gone for four years. So he was trying to, you know, get up with a female, you know, his ass been, you know, around dudes. His ass been around dudes this whole last four years. So he's trying to get up with a female, get get situated and shit like that. But the whole time, you know, the female lined his ass up. Dude now from, uh, what's the name that said? The Goonie Boss GDs. The Goonie Boss GDs, goddamn an old dog from the Goonie Boss GDs was out here catching all type of bodies, allegedly. You know, top dog for Goonie, for the uh, Goonie Boss and you know, she lined, like, the female Deesky was trying to get up with, lined his ass up with killers. And it's like, you know, Deesky got there, four them popped out the cut, they was in the crib, tucked off, and they damn near made Deesky damn near, they cut, for one, they cut his dress out. You know, they up camera, cut his dreads off. Everybody got guns pointing at him because you could just see DC with his hands up. So you know everybody got guns pointing at him. And then they made this man do the unthinkable. They made his ass dive in your ocean. I ain't tell you, they made that man dive in the Red Sea on my son. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> hey, look, y'all know what they made that man do. They made that man dive in the ocean. And they made that man dive in the Red Sea. They made that man dive in the ocean. No uh, YK Osiris, no Jacquees. They made that man dive in his ocean. The Red Sea. Oh, my son, they made him, that man dive in the Red Sea, man. They made that man drink Kool-Aid. Oh, my, they made that man drink Kool-Aid, man. They made that man drink Hawaiian Punch on full them. Like, that shit was, that, that's bogus what they made that man do, bro. They did that man dirty. So that's what Didi originally known for. 
you know, for the people not tapped in and ain't know him personally, like, if anything, if you let the streets tell it, before that shit happened, DC was known for catching a body and shit like that. But, you know, everybody ain't from the rack, so everybody don't know that. So in 2018, when that shit happened to them, it went viral. I mean, when it first happened, I ended up making a few videos about the shit. I'm like, man, so you can't trust these females. I was on that woofing. I'm like, bro, you can't trust these females. Look what happened to your ass. So look, they made the man dive in this ocean. They made that man dive in the Red Sea. They made him drink uh, Kool-Aid. They made that man drink Hawaiian Punch. They cut his dreads off. They Everybody got guns pointing at him. They got him on camera and embarrassed him. I'm hearing something happen to the girl right after that shit, you know? Because it's like I said, like the shit went viral. Folding them ass was embarrassed around the whole world. Before he even got the, you know, like... Dirk did his best damage control that he can do. Like, he gave Disky an OTF chain, gave him some money, God damn it, linked with him, like, made it, the world feel like, all right, this Dirk best friend, God damn it, glowed him up, gave him some features, and, you know, like, if anything, you know, tried to clean his shit up a little. And he did a good job. Like, Disky got motion now, you know? Like, even if he had motion before, it ain't compared to the motion. He got motion now. Fulham got motion, motion now. And it's like, that's 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 uh because of Dirk. You know, Dirk seemed like a good homie to have, you know what I'm saying, in real situation. And you know, you know, Dirk put that $100,000, 250 quarter million dollar legal team behind him to help him beat that body in 22. You know that too. So it's like, you know, Dirk damn now, you know, Held Disky down, and Disky needed that shit, especially after diving in the Red Sea, especially after diving in the ocean. Goddamn, especially after drinking that Kool Aid, especially after drinking that Hawaiian Punch, especially having him get his ass lined up and getting his hair cut off. And the people who did it would have had no problem with clapping his ass. Like, for them who uh, end up getting a drop on Disky and popped out the cut on him. They already would allegedly had t all type of bodies. What Vaughn say when he put Muwap on the line? He said, y'all think I'm a killer. Muwap got all type of bodies. Like, these people who caught Disky had allegedly had all type of bodies. So it's like, this shit would have just been another one for their ass. But, you know, you know, shout out to Disky for getting out that jam, you know, uh, uh, that ocean. Shout out to him for getting about that, uh, you know, making out of that situation where he was drinking that Kool-Aid and shit like that. So shout out to him for that. And shout out to him for, you know what I'm saying, beating that case in 2022. You know, shout out to Dirk for putting that quarter million dollar legal team behind him. But no, they said back in 2014, when uh, Disky allegedly caught that body, they said his ass was pulled right two blocks away. Four them on from 59. They said he pulled right on 57. Nothing covered in his face. Got up with whoever he got up with. Got him up out of the way and drove off. Like, ain't shit happened. Hella people out there, hella people strong. But, you know, some way, somehow, he beat he beat that shit in 20, 2022. Got booked for it in 2014. Sat down till 2018. Bonded out. Went to trial in 22. Got acquitted. My son. But uh, that's that on Disky. Make sure y'all check out my new series, The Untold Story. Just go in the description. Go to the top of the description. Uh, click the link. We got 12 episodes out. Go check out the 12 episodes. You know, uh, let's get some support to the channel. Anybody who want to support the channel, goddammit, just go to the description. Scroll down a little bit. We got all the ways to support the channel. Um, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at the T A T official CSP1. No spaces. Make sure y'all follow me on Facebook at Hood Diddy H O O D D I D D Y. Uh, make sure y'all go get y'all OTM merch. You know what I'm saying? We got merch for everybody. We got merch for men and merch for women. Just wait till the end of the video. It's gonna show you all the merch that we got and shit like that. Um, CSP Go to War with Bloggers Episode One is out now. One hour special. Must watch. God damn it, uh, highly recommend it. Just go in the description and click the Patreon link. It's going to take you right to it. Working on episode two as we speak, so y'all be on the lookout for that. Um, if y'all want to listen to the intro song that y'all hear in the beginning of the video, just go in the description and click CSP Hits. It's going to take you right to it. If y'all want to listen to the background music that y'all hear, 
in the background of the video, just go in the description and click DODA2. It's going to take you right to it. Make sure y'all join OTM. Anybody want to join OTM, just go in the description. Scroll down a little bit. It's going to say join OTM. Just click the link. Join the membership. It's going to send me your name and put your name on the list with all the people that I shout out when I shout out my OTM members. Y'all already know what's going on. I love y'all. Shout out everybody. Keep putting up, man. Y'all already know what's going on. I brought some money out. I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me. They throw their phone. They be like, fuck this Smoking big granddaddy. Look for them over stuff. My blood and shit. If I kidnap granny, you gon' be mad as motherfucker. Hey. Got the kickback addy. I come through strapped this motherfucker. Hey. Bad bitch red tatted and hit hey. them black as motherfucker. Hey. Everybody who rocking me, fool. If y'all want to rock out with me until the 21st, because I ain't going to lie. After the 21st, I ain't going to need no AA. I ain't going to need no aid and assistance. You know, I'm I'm going to be fully back online. I'm fully, you know what I'm saying? Take care of the shit I need to take care of. Because, like, you know, YouTube is giving you a whole stack of money. They give you a whole stack of money on the 21st. So it's like, shit, I ain't going to need no aid and assistance after the 21st. But until the 21st, if all my people who rock with me, if y'all can, you know what I'm saying, give me a little aid and assistance, send me a little, send a little AA my way, you know, however y'all can. I definitely appreciate that shit, fool. I brought some money, y'all. I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me. They throw their phone, they be like, fuck this. Smoking big granddaddy. Little phone, them overstuff my blood and shit.